Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to this, my newest vlog. And this is a very special one for me because it captures my birthday from last week. I turned 39 last week and I decided to spend my birthday with some very special people that I'm going to share a little bit about uh, here today with you. Um, first of all, I was able to bring together some of our grounding camp friends who have been very consistent in uh, being at grounding camp and really committed to the process of becoming the strongest version of themselves on the energetic strength level. If you've watched my videos long enough, you know that becoming the strongest version of yourself requires four levels. Neuromuscular strength is, you know, the most basic and fundamental one, and it's about us lifting a lot of times. But then there's physiological strength that has a lot to do with what's going on physiologically, our hormones, our digestive system, the foods that we eat, the rhythms of our life, sleeping, things of that nature. But then the third one is a bit more mystical because it is a lot less tangible and that's energetic strength. And it has a lot to do with meditation, but specifically active meditation and bioenergetics, right? The emotional body is really what we're dealing with in regard to the uh, energetic strength. Well, anyway, uh, these friends, uh, as well as my wife, Colleen, were led through a workshop called Open opening to feelings by my teacher of over 12 years, very good friend, Chrisana Locke. Uh, Chrisana is the very first person to have taken me through an Osho dynamic meditation class way back in 2003 when I was still living in New York. And she was the first person that I took a bioenergetics uh, session with. And, uh, and it changed my life forever. I was at the age of 24 and uh, I always, relish those who come to me around that age because 24 is is one of those landmark moments of a young man's life you you really are about to bound out into a brand new journey and that's where i was i was suffering a little bit from some depression and i decided i wanted to try this osho dynamic meditation stuff out and the teacher chrisana who was there uh, also did one-on-one -on -one sessions and i did a uh, bioenergetic session with her and boy it was one of the most liberating experiences of my entire life and I was able to touch deep feelings that uh, I didn't know were there. And of course that led me to, you know, spending a lot of time with Bob Glazier during 19, uh, 2012 and 13 and 14 when I was really active in bioenergetics until he passed away and interestingly as he passed away my uh, experience began to fade and I sort of went into a, a tunnel a depression of sorts. But in 2015, when I traveled to Europe, uh, Chrisana and I reconnected because she had moved to Berlin. And uh, throughout Europe, I was teaching dynamic meditation. I hadn't even linked up with Chrisana yet, but I knew that it was something that helped me tremendously when I was 24, going through my transitional depression. And I knew that it would help me again here at 36, literally 12 years later, go through my transition there. Every 12 years we go through a, a huge transition, a, a brand new chapter in our lives. And I knew at that 12 year mark that if I were to reconnect with Chrisana and use active meditation and bioenergetics once again, I knew that it would facilitate the process of me becoming who I'm intending to be for the next phase of my life. And so in 2016, we put on our very first dynamic meditation camp. And, you know, because I had built such a platform and had such a huge audience at that time, of course I disappeared. I stopped making videos, but as I was going through my reawakening process, I invited you to join me there. And that's what grounding camp is. So Dynamic Meditation Camp, when Chrisana and I first came back together, was the very first experiment. It was the spark to bring uh, life back to me and my experience during this transitional phase. But then also to, to invite you guys, my friends, my fans, and the people who have supported me thus far. And I have always been there to support you in your transitional phases and your challenges in life. So when I'm doing it, I'm going through it, and I'm using these tools, I thought that it would be of the greatest gift 
to myself and to you to invite you to be there with me. And so between 2016 and 2018, this year, uh, we have done grounding camps. I think I've done about five or six different grounding camps. And so this week, last week, was exactly two years from when Chrisana and I relinked up together again in uh, in the U.S. and did that dynamic meditation camp, and it really was like a graduation of sorts. Chrisana is a very intuitive therapist. She is a very skilled teacher. She is definitely one of the greatest influences in my life. And so during this week-long birthday opening to feeling workshop reunion that I did, uh, there were so many different experiences for myself. Uh, Colleen was there with me and our friends that, uh, that I could not share all of it with you here, even though the excitement in my heart wants me to. So what I've decided to do here is to share a few of the highlights and speak a little bit about what I remember during the week. Uh, one of the biggest highlights was actually my birthday morning. I was, we were all woken at about two o'clock in the morning for one of the loudest and longest thunderstorms I probably had ever experienced. I mean, it was just crashing and the rain was coming down and it woke most of us up for at least an hour and then finally began to subside, but the rain continued the entire day. April 10th, 2018, Elliot turned 39 and the sky was falling. <laughs> the way I saw it and experienced it and the energy was very high because uh, look, I mean thunder and lightning that is the descending of energy kinetic energy Static energy in the world and it was just it was like the cloud just came right over us. It was crazy We were doing a lot of dancing and a lot of shouting and a lot of bioenergetic work So not much different than when the Native Americans did did rain dances and, uh, you know, part of the reason why the rain dance was outlawed by the Europeans when they came here and they told the natives, you better stop that, is because they really were controlling the energy with their body. They were controlling the weather with their body. So anyway, it was a stormy, stormy day. And that day, we practiced and worked on a bioenergetic segment of the body. Now, if you've watched some of my teaching videos, I talk about uh, neurotic holding patterns and I talk about the holding across the eyes. According to Wilhelm Reich, these are muscular holding patterns or armoring across the eyes, across the jaw, across the throat, across the chest, across the belly, pelvic floor, and so on. So when I say breathe into your balls, I'm talking about breathing into your balls, your heart, your belly, your pelvic floor, and the balls of your feet. So on this particular day, we began working on the eye segment and it was just so coincidental or synchronistic would be a better way to describe it, that these past few months I have really been working on the muscular holding patterns in my own eyes that caused me to be myopic. I have worn glasses and contact lenses and recently I've recognized just how much holding I have in my, in my uh, forehead, between my eyes, around my eyes, and uh, in the back of my head. Literally tension that I wasn't aware was there because I was always putting on lenses. And so this new awareness that I've developed has uh, invited me to stop wearing lenses and to begin relaxing and using my eyes in a far more resourceful manner. So my birthday gift was, was to have my trusted teacher carry us all through bioenergetic exercises related to opening the eye segment, opening the muscular system and bringing energy into the eye segment. And we did a myriad of different uh, bioenergetic exercises and active meditations that were associated with it. But when we get to the end of this video or when I finish speaking at this video, I'm going to let it play out. I'm going to allow you to watch Chrisana in action teaching one of our students how to go about uh, working the eye and face segment. And um, it's a bit long. And so this will be a long video, but those of you guys who are really on your path to becoming the strongest version of yourself and you understand and you trust energetic strength, you're going to want to watch it. I know you're going to love it. And, and if you get a chance to uh, absorb Chrisana's skill, her, her love and her teachings during, during this video, uh, you'll want more. So before I cut to the next 
clip where you'll get to watch that, uh, I want to offer you my huge announcement. Now, Chrisana has paired up with a new partner who does shamanic drumming. His name is Mazen, and the two of them put on a tremendous performance for us all week between Chrisana taking us through the bioenergetic breathing exercises and Mazen using his uh, shamanic drumming skills. Mazen is also a neuroscientist. So, you know, th these are two highly qualified people who are not only very intuitive, but also very intelligent. And so he really speaks to us a lot about the science behind the vibrations that are coming from these shamanic drums. Well, anyway, uh, the three of us, or really the four of us, because Colleen's my partner in all of this, uh, had breakfast yesterday morning and we decided to put on a big event in Europe this November. So I'm going to be coming. I'm going to bring my whole family once again, like we did two years ago to Europe. We're going to be in London. We're going to be in Amsterdam and we might be in Berlin. So, you know, I don't want to give you the, the hard details just yet, but if you're in Europe, if you're watching this, if you're interested in energetic strength, if you're interested in learning from my teacher and going through a one day opening to feeling workshop that's really designed for warriors. If that's something that you might be interested in joining us for, it's going to be incredible. Uh, I'll put a link down below where you can put your email address. That way you're just updated on the details. I'll probably release it maybe sometimes next week and you'll learn more about it, but you don't want to miss out. So put your email address down below and I'll make sure that I email you that stuff. Um, but I'll also be posting about it on Instagram. So follow me on Instagram. Anyway, I know you're going to enjoy this video clip introducing you to my teacher, Chrisana, and you're going to get a wonderful opportunity to see and learn a little bit more about just one small segment of what bioenergetic or energetic strength is all about. Thank you all for being here with me all this time. Thank you for all your birthday wishes and I'll see you next time. Hi, Maya. segment and the muscular and all this holding that we have that we hold in the segment and also the emotional armoring that we have so in the course of growing up in this self-development that we all go through there's a lot that happens in our lives there's a lot of uh, events or conditioning that happens and this tends to to shut down or block or create a filter or a way to defend ourselves in the ocular segment. So first of all, we, I will ask Jess to tell me about physically some, the history of your eyes. You know, if she wears glasses or she's had any accidents or, or any, anything that's been happening with your eyes. During my adolescence, I would say um, maybe between the ages of 13 and 16, I developed obsessive compulsive disorder, so I had a twitch in my eye often. Which eye did you have to like twitch? Okay. I kind of feel like they needed to always um, blink often, and I had some sort of twitch on my nose. But the eyes, especially if I saw a pointy object at a periphery, I would feel the intense need to blink. So pointy object so if over I saw, here. If I saw the table, a knife, mm -hmm. I would have to squinch my eyes like this. 
Charging up exercise you're gonna do? Yeah. Yeah. It's a little uncomfortable because it's you're ch- you're moving all these muscles, but you continue to do it. It'll be longer than this. Okay. <laughs> so just step back a little bit so everyone can see it as well. So it's very simple. Lifting the eyebrows, knitting the eyebrows, and breathing. And it's not... It's simply the eyebrows. Yeah? Opening the eyes wide, knitting. Yeah, and breathing. Okay. So it's just like expanding this part of your face, and then breathing. Lifting the eyebrows, knitting the eyebrows. So on the on the in breath, <coughs> on the out breath. <coughs> yeah. Okay. So then I'm going to get Jess to lie down, and she's going to go into the basic breathing position with the knees up, the feet on the ground. And then you're going to sit by her side or by your partner's side, and then just one time looking at each other. There's no conversation, there's no dramatizing or trying to be nice, you're just being there present. And then you can close your eyes again, you come back to your body. And then again, you go into this breathing. There's an open mouth. And starting to deepen the breathing down into the belly. So each breath coming a little bit deeper into the belly. is they're just being there, being present, that they're breathing fully and deeply. Yeah, and then seeing what it's like, breathing into the diaphragmatic area. And then right up. 
up into the chest. And then back down into the belly. And then up and out through the chest. Deep breathing, fully deep in that side chest. And as you're breathing, I'm going to come and give you a really nice head massage. So this is where you enjoy getting a head massage. So what you're doing is you're going to loosen the scalp, which is really holds a lot of tension. So as they're breathing, you're just starting to loosen this cap on the scalp. Go with your intuition, you don't have to be a, a massage therapist. It's just basically loosening the head. Yeah. And at the back of the head, there's these two points that might be quite tight, that's connected to the ocular. So, be aware when you're massaging here. So you you get creative with you're trying to loosen the scalp. How's that chest? Yeah. yeah. So when uh, when we enjoy something, uh, but loo- you know your body loosens up as well. Also the forehead. part of the ocular, yeah? Just massaging the sides of the nose. How's that? Good? It's good. So we're, we're touching all these ocular segments, the cheekbones, yeah. Where everything's starting to loosen the, the ears. And then we just come down to the next segment, which is just to the jaw a little bit. Show you how to put it there. Yeah. So then you're going to hold the this pen light just above the head about one foot, twelve inches I think, I mean centimeters. <laughs> and then you just just if you can just open your eyes and can you see this light? Yeah. And then as she's breathing, I w- I'd like you just just to just with your eyes just to Start to follow this light. Just your eyes. You keep breathing. So just so what this is going to do, this is going to loosen up as you're breathing. Any fixed patterns you holding as we're breathing. I'll be guiding you sometimes. You hear me say, continue breathing. Yeah. And then after a while, I will say you can also move your head so your nose can follow, so you can let your head move. Yeah. So you're going to be making these random movements with the pen light. And you're going to breathe. Breathing deep. 
Okay. Breathing. Yeah. Feel that in your hands. You can, yeah, put your hands in there, you can squeeze. So what happens, it starts to, things start to emotionally get touched in the body, so you, you keep breathing and a lot of feelings or emotions start to get touched. Okay, I'll come over there. Can you feel me? Aww. Yeah, you can do it all week, Emily. That just kept us alive. No, you can make us so happy. This is the best one yet. You guys are bridezillas. <laughs> all right. We're good. Bridezilla. Oh, nice Thank you. Guys. Thanks guys for the price. Thank you. Bye guys, have fun. Done.